Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive out on the range today. And today I want to talk to you a little about sight offset, sometimes referred to as mechanical offset. At close range, it makes a difference where you have to hold your aim, right? And you can do this with iron sights or the various different heights uh, for your red dot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot the, uh, the target. At first, I'll aim, I'll put the red dot right on the target and we'll see where the impacts are. And then we'll adjust so we'll know where we have to aim in order to get that good solid hit on the target. Okay, so we're gonna start off, got my Sigvertus here. We're gonna go with the, uh, what we call a, a high rise um, sight, okay? So the high rise, that's the tallest. It's what guys are using now because we're using our nods without projecting the laser, all right? So, let her load it up. Initially, we're gonna, we're gonna start this off. I'm gonna put the red dot right on the X. One shot, okay? So we come over here. So from about, well, about five yards or so, I was aiming, putting the red dot right on that X, and this is where my bullet impacted. So you know, yeah, so at close range, you're gonna shoot low. So if you're gonna put that red dot right on his eyes right here, it's gonna hit him in the mouth. All right, so in order to do that, you basically just measure, you know, shoot once like this from whatever range you want. And as you move farther back, though, that, that's gonna tighten up. So at about 25 yards, you're pretty much point of aim, point of impact for you know, most high stress situations. Okay, so now I'm gonna back up here and I'll take another shot and we'll see if we can't uh, put it right here. So I'm gonna aim right about ooh, where, the, where that nine is and it should drop right into that spot. Okay, so I'm back at about five yards and now we're gonna use our offset. So I'm gonna bring that red dot up and now when I shoot, all right. So by putting the red dot up here on the nine, it dropped right in, right on my X. So that's at about five yards. So that's with the high rise red dot. And now we'll go over the same thing with the irons on this one. And we have a, a lower third co-witness. And again, as the distances start moving back, you sh this is gonna decrease in here, okay? Okay, so we're gonna take the, uh, the vortex off. Good. Dumping the old dump pouch. Okay, now we're gonna go with just iron sights. Now iron sights, not quite as high, but we'll, we'll see what we get here. Okay, again, I'm gonna aim right at the X. Okay, so there from five yards, just with iron sights, aiming right at the X, my shot fell right here. Okay, so it's about two, two and a half inches. So again, I'm just gonna aim a little bit higher. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna use my offset. Okay, let's go see what we got. So again, we took basically the distance here, that was my initial shot, and I was aiming like right about here, which dropped me right onto the X, okay? So that's, you notice that the distance isn't quite so much because the distance isn't quite as tall as the, uh, the high rise, okay? Now we'll go with the, uh, the lower third co-witness. So now we've switched platforms. We've got the uh, Sig Romeo 5 with a lower third co-witness, okay? So uh, that it's a little bit higher than true co-witness, and we'll see where we're at here. Now, again, I'm gonna aim right at that X, just like I did before. Right. Okay, so aiming right at the X. We're dropping in here almost the same place as we were with the iron sights. But here we go, we'll, we'll try again. Our offset is gonna be right about here. All right, so we're lined up. Okay, there's the X. I'm gonna bring it up right up there. Okay, here was our shot before. My aim point offset was here and I'm right there tickling the X. Okay, so there's, it's a slightly different, you know, slightly more because we're lower third, which raises that red dot up just a little bit more. Okay, so now we'll talk about extreme close range. So if I'm really, really close, You'll notice if I aim right here, if I put the red dot right here, I'm gonna hit him in the teeth, all right? But if I put it up here, 
I'm gonna kind of split his hairs because you want to get right in here to get put the red dot on the hairline. That'll drop that bullet at close range right in the, the sweet spot. Okay, so if I'm here, come out. Killed him! <laughs> All right, so we got the target back up where it was. Uh, the muzzle blast at close range cause havoc on your, uh, your paper targets. But we're putting the red dot right here. We drop that, that shot right there in the sweet spot, okay? You shoot a guy in the teeth, it may or may not, you know, have your desired effect, but you put them right here in this, uh, this little triangle, right? Basically where your sunglasses sit, that usually has a really good effect and they go away right away threat, threat neutralized. All right, guys, you know, this is about your sight offset or mechanical offset on the, uh, the AR platform. Now, this may seem like real simple, but a lot of people don't understand that. So I thought I'd just bring it out and, you know, show you guys what we're talking about so you can make good, effective shots at close range with your, uh, your modern sporting rifle. All right? And as always, if you like this content, like, subscribe, and leave me some comments.